Welcome to the 18th and final stage of La Vuelta 20. One last hurrah for the peloton as they round out what has been a very unusual season, a 140 kilometer procession into Madrid before celebrating the winner of this 75th edition, Primoz Roglic. There's also a prestigious stage victory up for grabs in the Spanish capital, a chance for Sam Bennett, Pascal Ackerman, Jasper Philipsen, or perhaps even Magnus Court to double up the Dane of one in Madrid four years ago. The winners of the various classifications striking a pose as they rolled towards Madrid at a nice easy pace. Chris Froome saying farewell to the Ineos Grenadiers after 11 seasons and seven Grand Tour wins. He actually received his trophy for the 2011 Vuelta before the stage and his teammate Richard Carapaz is the first Ecuadorian to finish on the podium of the Vuelta. The race's most combative rider meanwhile, Remy Cavagna from Decanic Quickstep. Well, the riders happy to catch up and share a few jokes before gearing up for the more serious business of trying to win the stage. Jumbo Visma leading the way into Madrid. Nothing to report at the intermediate sprint, but with around 30 kilometers to go, three riders tried their luck off the front. Jonathan Lastra, Tim Vellens and Willie Smith, three men who've been very active on this Vuelta. Lastra soon sat up, but Smith and two-time stage winner Vellens continued to stretch their legs. The sprint teams were now in firm control of the peloton. Gonzalo Serrano, the only rider from Madrid at this race, joining Vellens and Smith at the front, as did Dmitry Gruzdev of Astana. They had 25 seconds in hand with 15k to go, but they were never going all the way. And eventually the peloton reeled them back in just before the final lap. The fast men getting into position for the final sprint of 2020. The average speed well over 60 kilometers an hour with Ackerman and Bennett ready to strike. The sprint starts. Ackerman in a perfect place. Bennett is now in position. Here comes Jasper Philipson on the outside. Oh, it's going to get close on the barriers in here. Ackerman gets onto the wheel. Ackerman gets ready to strike. Philipson is there. Bennett free wheels. Here goes Max Cantor on the outside. Ackerman kicks for home. Bennett tries to open up the gas. Again, they're bumping off each other on the line. It's a photograph. Who wins the stage? There's your answer. Pascal Ackerman wins the stage just by a tyre's width. Ackerman beating Bennett by the slimmest of margins, taking his second win of this welter, the 30th of his career, preventing the Irishman from winning in both Paris and Madrid this year. Third place going to another German rider, Max Cantor of Team Sunweb. And redemption for Roglic, who's had a stunning end to 2020. The Slovenian champion suffered heartbreak at the Tour de France, but he bounced back in spectacular fashion, first winning Liège Baston Liège and now successfully defending his crown at La Vuelta. Very much time for a well earned holiday. Uh, yeah, we, we were just enjoying it. Huh? It was, uh, was the last one to, to do uh, before we finish uh, this, and uh, we did it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just super, super happy that uh, I could win uh, and uh, yeah, to, to finish like this, uh, this whole season. Roglic winning by 24 seconds from Carapaz, with surprise package Hugh Carthy completing the podium. Dan Martin fourth, his best result on a Grand Tour. Thanks to his four stage wins, Roglic also dominated the points classification, wearing green from start to finish. Guillaume Martin enjoyed himself in the mountains this year, becoming the sixth Frenchman to win the polka dot jersey at La Vuelta and the white jersey stayed on the shoulders of this man throughout. Enric Mas, the best young rider, ahead of double stage winner David Godu. Movistar taking the team classification for the third straight year, the only team with two riders in the top 10 overall. And Roglic brings the curtain down on 2020. Who knows, perhaps he'll attempt a Vuelta hat-trick in 2021. Do join us again next year to find out, and thanks very much for watching.